What's up guys? Welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is JC if you are new here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. It means the world to me. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are doing a little hair tutorial. It's honestly such a simple and easy hair tutorial. If I can do it, anybody can do it, I promise. And in this video, I am using the Revlon Air Dryer Brush. This is hands down the best invention ever. If you're like me and have no idea how the hell to blow dry your hair, this thing is literally a lifesaver. This has been my go-to hairstyle. I think it's super cute. It just looks so classy and elegant. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I really hope you enjoy this video. And if you do, definitely give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. And with that being said, let's just get right into this video. So I showered, I did my makeup. I always leave this hair wrap on while I'm doing my makeup just so it doesn't completely dry because we are going to be using this Revlon air dry brush. I believe that's what it's called. This thing is so, so amazing. I am not the one to ever even think about doing a hair tutorial. I'm just, I ain't it. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but this makes it so easy to get that voluminous 90s hairstyle look. I personally don't like tight curls. I truly love the whole brushed out, natural looking waves type of moment. And this is just the perfect thing to use to achieve that. It comes with two different attachments. This one's a little bit thicker and this one is thinner. I honestly go back and forth with using both. I like using the thicker one for like my underneath pieces and then this on top to really like frame the face let's just get right into it I will 100% link this down below for you guys if you're interested I got it off of Amazon and I believe it was like 20 to 30 dollars it was super affordable and for the results you get so obviously the first thing is take this little thingy ding off. I honestly love these little hair wraps. I totally noticed a difference with using this and like a regular towel. My hair is just less frizzy. I'm pretty sure I got this at Ross too and it was like $2. So my hair is like, I don't know, I would say like 60% dry, not even like 20% dry. That's why I keep it up in that towel because I want it to be a little bit wet. I might go in with a blow dryer before but yeah, so I'm going to go in with this leave-in mask from Moroccan Gold Series. This was from a Fab Fit Fun box, so I'm just going to spray that into my hair. And yeah, it's like a detangling spray thingy ding. I love spraying a leave-in conditioner in my hair before I brush it out. It just makes it 10 times easier and softer, and it gets out all the knots before I go in with a brush. And then I'm gonna go in with this Quay Key? Quay? Key? I don't know, I'm gonna go in with this hair oil by this brand right here. A multitasking oil that smooths frizz and seals split ends for a high gloss. Honestly, I read that and I was like, sure, let's get it. So I'm going to take a little bit and put it at the ends of my hair. And to be honest, I really like this oil. I even put it on my dry hair, obviously like a very tiny bit, but it doesn't make my hair look like greasy or oily, if you know what I mean. And when it's wet, I don't really care. I just put a ton of it in there and it makes my hair super soft. Soft. It makes my hair super soft and silky. I love it so much. And yeah, that's pretty much all that I put into my hair. I just, I don't know. I don't go crazy with the hair products because I hate putting them in my hair. So that's that. I'm just going to brush it out. It is pretty damp still. Your hair is supposed to be like 80% dry. I think it's honestly fine if it's like wet, but it's just gonna take a lot longer. I'm just going to dry my hair a little bit more and yeah, that's that. So I like to split my hair into sections. So I'm going to do the bottom half first. I feel like that's so stupid to say, like, obviously. I hate explaining how to do my hair. I feel like I shouldn't be doing this. Like, I, who gave me? I have no business showing anybody how to do hair because I suck at it. These are my favorite clips ever. I got them off of Amazon. They came in like a pack of three. There's like a triangle one, a straight one, and they're so freaking cute. I just love them so much. I'll leave them linked down below if you're interested. Looking cute. So what I do, I like to split my hair in half and what I do actually is take like a little clip like this and I will clip this side just so I know not to touch this side. All right, so I'm going to take a piece. Honestly, I get so lazy. I use big ass pieces 
and I probably should go a little bit thinner, but I'm so lazy when it comes to my hair. I'm also using the thicker barrel, so the bottom pieces are completely blown out. Like I said, I don't like tight curls. I feel like the more blown out they are, the more volume you get. I don't know, I could be making shit up. What I'm going to do is take the brush behind the hair and then literally just keep twisting it all the way down. This is so bad because it's not on. What I like to do is then hold it and then sometimes it gets stuck and you can't like glide it through. I know that sounds so bad, but I will just like literally like peel it off and it's literally that easy. So I'm going to take the same piece and let's get this started. <laughs> If you can see but it's not like completely curled it's just like a cute little wave and it doesn't look like anything but I promise once you do your whole head like this it looks like the perfect blowout it's so cute but I don't know if you saw but I kept going back until I got it to how I want it usually it only takes like three times and then it gets like the perfect one but that's literally what it's going to look like just going to continue doing that all around my head i feel like the key part is the curtain bangs because it took me forever to understand which direction i should be going to get that perfect like swoop you know what i mean and yeah so we'll get there Okay, so this is one section done. Like I said, it doesn't look good until it's completely finished. But honestly, the key to using this is just keep on like spinning, like keep on spinning it. It will get stuck and might burn your hands. But before I move on to the next section, I'm actually just going to quickly spray this. You can like bounce it up a little bit if you want. Cute, all right, moving on. is pretty much all the layers done besides my curtain bangs and like the pieces that are gonna frame my face and if you notice it's pretty much just the bottom that is curled that's how I like it so for the pieces that are going to frame my face I like using this one because it's going to create like a tighter curl okay and now this is like the trickiest part I don't know why is like trying to <laughs> is trying to create like your parts I like my part to be in the middle So for the pieces that are going to frame our face, not the actual curtain bangs, we're literally going to do the same exact thing that we did with the other pieces, just with the thinner brush. So now for the actual curtain bangs, the trick is to brush it upwards once and then bring it back down and then put the brush underneath and then curl it inwards just like this. This is going to give it that flippy look. You know how it's always just like airy and flawless. This is how I personally get my curtain bangs to look like that. So let's get at it. This thing is so hot. I'm like sweating over here.
we are looking crazy right now. Beautiful. This is exactly what we want. So we are actually going to switch back to the thicker barrel and go just literally over everything and make it even more flippy. You know what I mean? But I don't know about you, but I personally love a good messy hair look. I feel like the messier, the better. And this is like perfect. So as you saw, I was literally just grabbing, I am so sweaty, like I am worked. But as you saw, I was just taking like random pieces and kind of curling it all together. And to be honest, this is, ooh, that's literally it. Um, we are going to, where's my hairspray? We are going to add some hairspray. I'm not even spraying my hair. I got it in my eye. And we are going to like shake it out. I don't know, I just love a good messy hair. Honestly, I feel like every time I do my hair like this, it always looks different. Sometimes they're tighter, sometimes they're looser. But nonetheless, I always love the outcome and I think it's such a cute, easy simple hairstyle that literally anybody could do i also would definitely recommend doing your hair first before you do your makeup because i literally almost sweated off all my makeup but i'm also in a very very small bathroom so that is that but yeah guys that is going to complete this little hair tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed as always i will leave all the products that i mentioned down below in the description so if you're interested definitely go check that out and yeah i will see you guys in my next video